paper helps to tell the story of the piece that you are producing. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Roger Blake Photography and Printing channel. Good to have you along for our adventure today. We will be doing an art print reproduction of an original painting by Braden Maxwell from Illimax.art. Uh, this was done a number of years ago and was part of an exhibition that he had in Sherborne, England. I'll provide a link for the whole backstory of that art show and uh, some of the great things that happened there. Uh, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Today though, we want to talk about choosing paper for a reproduction, whether it is an art piece, a painting, a watercolor, you know, oil, whatever that is. There are lots of different choices, ranging from a high gloss surface to just a, a regular matte surface paper. I love paper. I've loved paper ever since I was a little boy. I grew up in the printing business. I was sweeping floors when I was five years old, uh, you know, and bouncing around the print shop, uh, uh, probably not doing a good job with the floor, but that's a whole other story. So in this case, we're going to be choosing in consultation with the artist, a matte surface that has a little bit of a texture to it. In this case, it is a, a what's known as an Aurora Art White made by Red River Paper. I just love this paper and, and it's uh, a really beautiful surface, has a very nice white surface to it, but it has just a little texture. And printing on this is going to bring out the life of the painting. There are other papers that we could have chosen, just a, a regular smooth, like a polar mat. This is the Paladuro etching. Um, it has a wonderful feel to it. It has more of a tooth or more of a surface than, than the Aurora Art White does. We feel like the Art White is going to give a better representation of the color and background that the original painting had. So choosing a paper is a fun part of the project and different papers have different properties. As you see in this image, uh, as I scroll through these different test prints, uh, each one of these papers can have a, a different outcome for how the, the person that is viewing the picture will end up looking at it. So this, this paper right here is uh, Paladuro soft gloss rag. It's a cotton paper. It has a bit of a, as you can see, a bit of a, a gloss to it. That's why it's called soft gloss and just a small amount of texture. And I really love this paper, but to me, this is not what we want to um, have reproduce this picture. Now, this paper is a Paladuro Barita. This is really great for photographs and uh, I use it uh, regularly for that purpose. It does have a, a semi-gloss to it, um, but that's not really for this reproduction. Uh, this paper is the Paladuro um, etching and you can see that it has some really beautiful texture to it. I love this paper, especially for watercolors. Uh, and when it comes to photographs, I love it for woodland scenes. Um, I love it for autumn scenes. Uh, it just really, that texture in it brings a great amount of life to the picture. But the warmer tone to it is not going to make it the choice that the artist would want to have. And you see this on the left is the Aurora Art White and this is the Paladuro etching. Well, it's just enough warmer on the etching to not be the choice for this. The Aurora Art White, but it has a little bit of um, a texture to it, and this is going to be really a great choice, and it feels good in the hand. Um, now, when, you, when you're putting a picture in a frame, um, feeling good in the hand is not 
so much what's important, but if you're doing smaller prints and you know the end user is holding it, that paper and how it feels in the hand really does make a difference. We've already done two prints of the three that we're going to do, and I have the image loaded for the third. Uh, I've made sure that all the settings are correct, and now all I have to do is send it to the printer, and we'll have our third print ready to go. All right, folks, thanks for being with me on our little adventure today, doing this print for the artist in, in reproducing his paintings. Uh, once again, this shows the importance of choosing the right paper for the job. The paper can help bring life to the reproduction, whether it's a photograph or a painting or hand-drawn art of any kind. Uh, choose wisely, and I'll see you in the next adventure.